Okay, guys, I know the lighting in here is awful, but I wanted to try something a little different for our videos. Um, I've put a lot of cardio. I put a lot of strengthening and stretching. Um, I feel like I've done a, a lot of different variations of plies, rondes, jambes, tendus, degages, all of that. Um, I'll probably give a couple more adages and petite allegros once I get back to the studio. And again, jazz technique, like across the floor is really hard to do because a lot of you don't have space, but for the ones who do have space, I will give more of those. Um, and then you just got a bunch of time steps to work on, but I want to take a different direction here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to have you guys answer technique questions. So you, what you guys are going to do, this is my suggestion when you're ready to do this and you have like paper and pencil in front of you, or you can like type it out, like the answers on your phone, type it out on your laptop. I don't care how you do it, but you do have to submit it to me. Um, so what I would do is as you're listening to this video, once I've asked the question, I would push pause and I would write down that question or type it, text it in your phone, whatever it is you want to do, and then push play, move on to the next one. I'll tell you what the question is. And then again, you'll write it out on your phone, blah, blah, blah. So the first questions are technique questions. All right. So here's your first one. Name five things to remember when executing a jazz pirouette. So think to yourself, you know, I always say like at bar, start from head to toe, you know, things that you remember all the way down your body. So remember it's a jazz pirouette. We're not in ballet, it's a jazz pirouette. So that's five things to remember when executing a jazz pirouette. The next question is describe what the supporting leg should be doing anytime you're in an extension. So whether it be a tilt, whether it be like a heel stretch or a développé to the side, whether it be an extension forward or even an extension back, an arabesque, um, a six o'clock, what should your supporting leg be doing? And I really hope you know the difference between supporting leg and working leg. Supporting leg can also be called base leg, can also be called standing leg. Next, in your own words, tell me what it means to hold your core or keep your core tight. Tell me what that means to you. How do you do it? Next, think of a way to remember to keep your shoulders pressed down. This is a really common problem in so many of you. Your shoulders like to go here or they like to hunch forward in so many different steps. Like it's so common in pirouettes, in leaps, even in bar work, even in your susu. So come up with some kind of, you know, creative way or like an analogy to think of while you're dancing to get those shoulders pressed down because once it becomes a habit and muscle memory, you're good. You won't have to think of that anymore but come up with something that reminds you to keep your shoulders pressed down. Okay, your next question. Why do we stretch? You're not allowed to say, so we don't pull a muscle. Duh. And you're also not allowed to say, so we get more flexible. Again, duh. Be a little more thorough than that. I want you to really think, why do we stretch so often? Next, when executing a degage or a tendu, what part of the foot are you really using to press against the floor at the start of a degage or a tendu? Or even a frappe or a grand bama? What part of the foot are you using? What part of the foot are you working through? Next, please tell me the difference between a soda shaw and a grand jeté. So to Shaw, grand jeté. What's the difference? Last technique question. Where does your turnout initiate from? Or in other words, where does your turnout begin? What part of your body? Okay, moving on. These next questions are more about like how to be a better student, 
um, how to take class the right way, just good reminders for you. And even while you're doing your videos, they're, they're applicable to that too. So here's your first one. And these also have to be submitted, either written out, typed out, I don't care. So your first question is, what is something you think of to stay motivated during a really difficult cardio warm-up? So if the warm-up is super hard and we're like five minutes into it and you've got a cramp or you're just like, oh my God, I don't know how I'm going to do this. How am I going to get through this? What's something you think of that motivates you? Whether it's in class during like stretch and strengthen or whether it's at home doing your videos, what motivates you to keep going and keep doing it the right way? Not just doing it sloppy, not just doing it halfway, but doing that whole warm up full out. Name something or some things that motivate you. Next question What is the purpose of marking a combo, exercise, or a dance? There can be more than one purpose. Why do we mark things? Next question. It's a good one. How do you think your teacher feels when you are being silly with your peers or not paying attention to a combo being given? What if you were teaching the class? How would it make you feel if that kind of disrespect was taking place? Next. How often do you think you should be doing the stretching and the cardio videos posted on YouTube each week. How often do you think you should do like stretching and cardio? To me, out of all the videos posted, I feel like those might have the most, um, like do the most for your body. So how often do you think you should be doing the stretching and the cardio videos on YouTube that are posted? Next, if you are not doing the videos posted for you, what are you doing to supplement your training and your fitness? And I will say you should be doing the videos because those videos are like what we do in class every week. And when you don't do those, you're really going to fall behind in your strength, your, your flexibility, and your, the details of your technique. But if you're not doing them at all, what are you doing to supplement your training, to keep up with your training? Okay, next. What do you think will happen to you physically and mentally if you do not work hard using your videos or other online dance tools or staying active during quarantine? What do you think is going to happen to you if you that all this time has gone by and what do you think is going to happen if you haven't been staying on top of your dance training and I'm not saying you have to do it seven days a week but think about how many times you come to class each week most of you are there five times mm, most of you are there four days a week select team you're there five days a week and a lot of times we are running choreography for dances but you know that's the other half is all technique and warming up and stretching and strengthening so Think about that. If you're doing these videos maybe once a week and you're just doing like one video a day, how is that gonna affect you physically and mentally? What is it gonna be like when you come back to audition for team next year? Last one, imagine someone at the studio you look up to, someone you see in class each week or watch on stage why do you look up to them and have respect for them? The things you write down should all be things that you strive for in dance. So I want you to write down who it is you look up to and who, who you respect and why. Why do you respect them so much? Why do they motivate you? What is it about them? And like I said, you can, you can like put all these in your phone and then just text it to me. You can write it all down if that's easier for you and like take a picture of your answers. Um, you can email them to me. Um, my email is info at no limits dance center .com, or you can have your mom type it out and your mom can text or email me. Any way you want to answer these is fine as long as you really take time to do it because I also want you guys to be mentally thinking 
of dance, not just doing combos, not just doing jumping jacks here and there, not just going for a run because you think, oh, that, I'm going to burn some calories and go for a run. I want you to keep up mentally with dance too. So answer these questions however you need and just make sure you submit them to me. I'm going to give you like, let's see, today's Monday. So if you could have them to me by Friday, that would be great. Um, I know a lot of you won't see this till tomorrow. That will be Tuesday. But I still think, you know, just by the end of the day on Friday, it can be like 1130 p.m. at any time on Friday. 